can bet that local farmers didn't like the curveball that Mother Nature was throwing at them tonight. Oh, yeah, it's been a rough couple of months weather-wise. On the cold, putting some of our local produce at risk. Fox 10 News reporter Andrew Perez is live at Oak Hill Farms in Grand Bay. Now, Andrew, sounds like they're really hoping for the best tonight, right? Yeah, that's right, Bob Laniz, and that's according to a lot of farmers, several farmers that I spoke with today. At this point, you got to understand, it's just a little bit too late to try and protect some of these crops from this last-minute cold snap. Farms like this, they've got literally thousands of crops they would need to worry about. The workload is just ridiculous, and the, the weather is constantly changing. They say their main objective right now is to get these crops out of the ground as soon as possible. Brian Keller says these are some of the tomato plants growing on his farm in Grand Bay. The problem is, they should look like this right now. The weather delaying his crops. The last few months, we've seen a whole lot of rain. Even too much heat will kill the crops. But it's the record cold temps across our area that some farmers say has been the most frustrating to deal with. It's been the, the coldest winter that I've seen, and it's been... We've had the latest cold weather that I've seen on into to March and April. 10 acres of berries, 15 acres of vegetables, half of that dedicated to tomato plants. Keller says the cold itself hasn't necessarily killed his crops, but he says it's kept them from growing and they need to come out before summer. It's delayed planting and then it's also delayed growth. We're trying to plant as quick as we can, as soon as the cold's done, but we're trying to beat the heat as well. Now, local farmers say they're not so much worried with vegetables or the actual fruit itself withering away. Instead, they're more worried about the actual plant. They say there's only so much they can do to protect it. With another cold snap tonight, farmers in Baldwin and Mobile counties tell me they're just hoping for the best. No frost. Some already a month behind in planting. Problems that naturally come with the job. Farming's a high risk business. You put a lot of money out here in the field and then you leave a lot up to the, you know, there's so much you can control and then a lot of things that are out of your, out of your control too. And this year it's a shorter window that uh, we're going to have to try and get it back in. Yeah, now Oak Hill Farms is pretty much all local. You pick farmers market, stuff like that. Many are waiting right now to see what kind of damage this, all this cold weather that we've had lately, what kind of damage it really did during the summer months. That's also when we should start seeing how it may or may not affect the price of food as well. For now, reporting live in Grand Bay, I'm Andrew Perez, Fox 10 News. Well, last night's soaking created a big problem for people.